Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to roll. It's me Keonti and I'm definitely going to bring us a, a love reading. It could be about love, it could be about general, but it, it should resonate for you if this reading is for you. Again, this is, this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're cross-watching for a baby shark, meaning if you're reading, if you're watching a read because you're dealing with a Pisces, it could resonate from your perspective because it's energy. You have to flip it and put yourself where you go in the scenario, right? Um, if the messages do resonate, baby sharks, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and share. I do offer uh, private reads. If you're interested, please email me. Um, the e information will be provided in the description box below. I also have uh, I also am on Patreon where I do exclusive and other things on Patreon that won't be available on YouTube. If you're interested in that, go ahead and follow me on YouTube for the love of water. Let's go ahead and get into the messages, baby sharks, because this is going to be interesting. I pulled the first oracle cards and then I clarified them and I meditated on the energies. I pulled fledgling and sun. You could be dealing with the Leo. I pulled listening and it was clarified with stork. I pulled deceit. It was clarified with mice. I pulled hope. It was clarified with clouds. I pulled self-worth and it was clarified with the moon and tree. Right? Pisces, again, this could be happening to you or someone in your vicinity, but I feel like what's going on here is some of you, if this is not happening to a person, this could be something that you're doing internally. There's something here that's 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 fledgling, that's not successful, right? I feel like with the sun, it's abundantly clear here. It is clear that something is not, not thriving, right, with fledgling, right? I, with uh, listening in the stork and deceit and mice, Pisces, either you are planting negative seeds in your head or you're listening to the negative thoughts in your head about a situation or you liter or literally someone has someone that's like planting negative seeds in their head. And I never noticed this with the listening card until I was meditating on the energies. But this card actually says darkness does not equate. I'm sorry. Darkness does not. Out of, oh, shit. I'm sorry, y'all. I can barely see. I got to turn the light on this. Oh, dark, darkness does not always equate to evil. Light does not always equate. It uh, does not always bring good. I feel like what's happening here, honestly, is that um, it's abundantly clear with the sun and fledgling that something isn't good, right? It says darkness does not always equate evil and, and and the light isn't always truly good i feel like there's something abundantly clear someone is either getting the messages here that something is not good and it's fledgling right um i feel like i feel like intuitively someone could be getting these messages right but i also feel like either pisces either are you are deceiving yourself and thinking negative thoughts about something or you literally have someone planting negative seeds someone has next someone planting negative seeds in their head deceit and mice right you know mice is like a scurrying energy like gross right An infestation right some of somebody could be infested with deceitful energy here right having that shit all around them right there's a, there's a there's a warning to me like to be careful right to be careful of that energy don't listen to that kind of energy right because i feel like something is fledgling and it's and it is abundantly clear that something is fledgling but someone could be listening to someone trying to try to plant trying to deceive them into thinking that it's not okay and i think it's clear for me to warn you don't deceive yourself about something that's fledgling here right well hope in the clouds i feel like someone here is definitely all in their head right they're in their happy place in their head and i feel like someone is hopeful that things are going to clear up and things are going to get better yeah someone is hoping like for, for some great I, I got hope that some great clouds will like clear right the sun right I feel like it's abundantly clear to someone that something is fledgling. Or listen, guys, honestly, someone is struggling here and it's abundantly clear, right? Someone could be struggling. And it could be clear that someone is struggling here, right? With the fledgling and the sun because that's that's the light doesn't always bring good, right? That's what the card says here. And I feel like just be, like there's an awareness of something that isn't great, right? And again, someone could be listening to someone who's planting deceitful, uh, deceitful, that's planting deceitful seeds, right? Negative infestation, right? It could be messages coming in of that. And someone's having to remain hopeful, right? Hopeful in the clouds. Like someone is definitely in their mind, right? They're fantasizing, right? 
But someone is hopeful that like the gray skies are going to clear up. This is what I loved about the cards, Pisces, because with self or the tree, this could definitely be you, Pisces, because we are the moon. But I feel like someone is definitely um doing shadow work and, and kind of underneath, like the, on the shadow side of things. They're, they're learning lessons of self-worth. I feel like they're rebuilding and regenerating themselves. The tree is all about abundance, right? The tree is, is, is like, is like very, a, a very abundant energy, right? It's like planting roots and, and growing, right? I feel like someone is definitely like building up their confidence. They're building up their hope. Look underneath the deck. Ugh, confidence, obedience, and success. However, this is going to go for you, Pisces, if it resonates. What's happening is if someone is um, building up their self-worth, right? They're doing the shadow work on themselves. They're, they're building up their hope. I do feel like someone could be having someone trying to plant negative seeds or someone is definitely having negative thoughts, right? Don't, don't listen to that, right? Don't listen to messages of like you can't, right? Or someone, you can't do this because I need you for that, right? Someone you could definitely have an infestation of like deceitful people around. Someone could have an infestation of deceitful people around, right? But someone with self-worth, the moon and tree, I, 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 I got very happy when I uh, when I picked up on that energy because it's like, it's someone definitely, um, there's something going on internally, but someone is definitely like building up their confidence they're growing their tree of self-worth right they're giving life to like self-worth and self-love there is advice this could actually be what you're doing or someone is doing but i feel like it is some advice in that with confidence obedience success it's like someone is building up their confidence someone is going to have to discipline themselves in order to get success i feel like this is all that that someone needs to do to be successful in this situation confidence obedience success right forbidden and denial i feel like and honesty, I feel like someone here, in order to get success of a situation here, someone is going to have to refrain with forbidden, refrain and deny something and be brutally honest about it, right? What's under here? Afraid to look strength. Yeah, could definitely be dealing with the Leo for some of you. I feel like there's an energy of, in order to really have success in a situation, someone needs to build their confidence. Someone definitely has to discipline themselves, right? Be obedient to oneself, right? Build up this confidence and then be obedient to that. And then there's going to be success. And what's wrapped up in doing that, Pisces, for you or someone, put it where it goes, is forbidding oneself, like forbidding and denial. Like, I can't do that. I have to deny and reject that, right? I have to be honest. And then with strength, they're like pushing through and persevering with the plan, right? Because it's whatever's going on, that's the key to all of this. With key under here, I knew it. So there could definitely be some written documentation here. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. This could, there could be some 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 sort of talk and chatter about something here, or someone could be getting some help. Someone could yeah, someone could be getting some help or some wise advice from someone in order how to move forward in a situation in order to get a new um a new beginning. I definitely feel like the key to this is going to be someone someone's um confidence right someone definitely um building up their confidence their self-worth doing shadow work right and it's, it's definitely evolved but like in order to get some success because they, i feel like there will be success someone is building up their confidence they're building they're disciplining themselves for success and part of doing that is definitely forbidding right and denying look with denial on top of honesty it feels to me like someone is refusing like it's like someone refusing to lie to themselves right i feel like someone could definitely be like it could be some deceitful energies if it's just not you um kind of like being afraid and deceiving yourself that you can't do something someone could literally have to forbid themselves from dealing with an energy just like an infestation of deceit and negativity right someone is could be definitely in that energy while i'm forbidding myself to deal with that Right, I'm only dealing with honesty, and I'm pushing forward with the truth, and I'm persevering in, in, in that because I'm doing that. Right, some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo because I keep seeing the sun. Mm. But listen, oh, and I just realized this. Look, I have the sun and the moon. This is as above, so below. When you see these together, right? So it it is abundantly clear that something is fledgling, right? Something is not thriving here, right? That's clear. That's the sun. That's what's that's what's that's what's on the surface, right? But beneath the surface, what's happening here with the moon and tree and self-worth is someone is building up their confidence. Someone is doing this internal work. They're 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 learning lessons of self-worth, right? 
Someone is coming out better and stronger of a situation, Pisces, because of this. But I see what's happening here is either this person is having to be careful to accept positive messages, right? And not stay in this infestation of deceit and negative, right? And it's going to be a person that's doing this, that's bringing this kind of energy like like this infestation, a person could be like an infestation of negativity here, right? And I feel like someone could be trying to get them to listen to this, right? Or someone could listen, someone could be listening to that. Don't, okay? Give me a second, spirit. Okay. The sun and the fledgling for Pisces, spirit. Why is the sun? The knight of wands. See, the knight of wands is reckless, impulsive behavior. It's unstable energy, right? I feel like some of you are definitely dealing with the fire sign. Just have to say it. But there's an energy of um, it being abundantly clear that something is just too reckless or too risky or something is not as inconsistent here. And it's not being successful here, right? So it's like someone could be dealing with the Knight of Wands energy here, right? Someone could definitely be like deceitful and tricky, right? And it could be like an infestation energy, an uh, infestation of that energy, right? If it's not that Pisces, if it's not about a, another person, someone could definitely be um, realizing, right? Realizing that the reason why things aren't going the way that they want internally is, right? It's abundantly clear that it could be unstable effort put into things, right? Hmm. What's this? The Three of Wands, Lots of Fire, Manifestation, the Ace of Cups. Someone is definitely moving towards a new beginning here with the Three of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles. There's something here. Someone could definitely, like I said, some of you could definitely be attached to some deceitful energies here, or someone is, right? Someone could be in a, in a, um, with the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, someone could definitely have some sort of foundation built with someone that they feel like is deceitful, or someone that's like, um, I don't want to say a leech, but someone that kind of like brings them down. It's an infestation of negativity and deceit here, right? Someone could have a child with this person. I just have to say it. I got a king and queen of pentacles. Yeah, see, I'm telling you. There could be someone that's definitely realizing that there's a situation that's not being successful and fledgling. And someone could definitely have new love on the horizon, right? Hmm. Why is listening in the stork here for Pisces? Remember, and it, 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 I, it's so weird. I just read this when I was channeling. And it says, darkness does not always equate evil. Just as light does not always equate equate good right it doesn't always bring you in the good but i feel like that's abundantly clear right there could be a message of a new beginning coming in here right it could definitely be a message of a new beginning here because now someone could definitely be listening right somebody could be realizing and listening the stork is a messenger right and be careful of listening to negative messages i see somebody could definitely be in the energy where they're not listening see high priestess this is someone using their intuition pisces it's definitely us the Ten of Wands. See, this is dropping a heavy burden. Pisces, you could be this high priestess here. There could be a message coming in from somebody where somebody is like, somebody could be like, I'm finally listening. I finally get it. I finally see why something isn't successful, right? There could be someone bringing in a message of this. There could be something about a message here with the Ten of Wands. Somebody could be dropping a heavy burden. I feel like there's a message involved with this. You're involved with it somewhere because you're coming up as the high priestess. You're going to have to use your intuition in this. But there could definitely be an energy of a message coming in from someone like they're finally listening or they finally understand that something is fledgling. It's, it's abundantly clear that something isn't working and Ten of Wands feel like someone definitely dropping a heavy burden or some sort of oppression. Someone could literally be packing up and leaving somewhere. Four of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Someone is saving money here. There is an ending involved with this. I have two tens, the Ten of Wands, the four and the six of pentacles equal ten of pentacles. It could definitely be something about a, a family situation or a job. And then there's death, a complete ending. It could be dealing with the Scorpio. There's a soulmate involved in this. The lovers and the two of cups, there's soulmate energy here. Pisces, be careful. Like if, if, if you're the high priestess, if you're using your intuition and you know something is fledgling and it's not right, don't let anyone try to deceive you. I feel like you aren't, though. But someone could have let someone do this. Or someone could be coming in saying, I, was, I wasn't listening. I didn't listen before, and now I see something is something is fledgling, right? 
someone could definitely feel like they deceived themselves or they were deceived by someone that has something to do with like a negative infestation of energy here the mice someone could have a lot of people like um a lot of deceitful people like trying to eat off of them right for sure. Someone could like have an infestation of people just trying to eat off of them. And it could be a lot of deceit involved and it's nothing but deceit, right? Pisces, if that don't apply to you, if none of that applies to you, like I said, you just be careful of like a negative infestation of your mind and deceiving yourself, right? Because I feel like your intuition, you know something here with the high priestess. The four of wands. The knight of cups. Someone definitely has um, entanglements or connections here with deceitful maybe people who are like kind of users i hate to say that there's a connection here with the four wands and the knight of cups there's a connection here with deceitful energy and like i said this negative ass infestation like i said someone's partner could be trying to deceive them right someone could finally be realizing that Someone could be reaching out to you, telling you this. This could be you realizing this. This is how I'm seeing it. The Queen of Swords, Page of Swords. I do have a feminine energy trying to figure some shit out. For sure. But put it where it goes. Why is hope in clouds here? I feel like someone is definitely, um, someone definitely has hope, right? This feels like, to me, uh, Aquarius energy could be Sagittarius energy. I feel like there's storm clouds right now because of this. But someone is definitely, um... Hopeful, right? Someone is definitely someone still has faith, right? The Ace of Cups and a Magician. See, somebody's manifesting. Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini, fire sign for sure. Another another water sign. The Magician is some is somebody who um is a manifester, right? The Magician uses alchemy, right? This is someone who has all the tools in the toolbox. They got the Ace of Cups, which is already here. Ace of Cups. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Someone is manifesting a new beginning. They're hopeful for a new beginning in love, life, new 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 beginnings, like new joy. Someone still has has hope, and I feel like they're manifesting it. Someone is doing work internally, right? I don't feel like there's a lot of things that the person who's who's coming to the realization is maybe saying now. But with the clouds, it's like their mind, like they're storm clouds, but they have hope and they're manifesting. See, look, Three of Pentacles. There is a King of Cups here. Pisces, you could be this king of cups. You could be emotionally mature about a connection that you're in, or there could be a masculine energy doing this. The three of pentacles, the king of cups, and the ten of wands. Someone is very hopeful. Someone is being emotionally mature about a situation, but they definitely want to drop a heavy burden. And I feel like it could be something that's been going on long term. Like I said, some of you could just have some really nasty energy that you're connected to. And I don't mean just like love. This could be like deceitful friends or like users or people that's like trying to eat off of you that plant negative seeds in your mind right they try to convince you that things that you see as no good and unstable isn't but i feel like you could be using your intuition about this too just put it where it goes right you could be this person that like the clouds are starting to clear up for you when you're starting to see some shit for what it is and you manifesting a new beginning for yourself just put yourself where you go in this right for the Pisces, for self-worth, the moon and the tree. There's definitely someone here. You know, the moon, the, the, the sun is, like I said, it's what's, what's above, what, what we can all see. But the moon is what's underneath, right? Our emotions, our feelings, right? The things that we may not wear on our sleeve, right? That's the moon, right? And I feel like what's going on internally for someone in this situation is, is they're doing the work on self-worth. Someone is coming back bigger, better, and stronger. And it's because they're doing this kind of work. Like they're getting ready to rise above, to grow. It, the cards clearly tell me that that um all this is going to require, and I feel like someone knows this, is confidence and obedience, right? Build up their confidence. Build up their self-worth. Have some faith in some, in some, like, build up the value in themselves. Have some faith in themselves. Kind of trust themselves. And, dis and obedient, be disciplined. And then their success, right? Someone is for surely forbidding themselves. Um, someone is forbidding themselves to be in denial about things. Someone is is, is, is forbidding themselves to, to remain in denial. They're being honest and they're getting ready to push through. Again, you could be dealing with a, a Leo for sure. But why is self-worth the moon or another water sign, even an earth sign with the tree? I, I got a lot of fire here for sure. Why is self-worth here for Pisces? Why is self-worth here with the moon and the tree spirit for the Pisces? Make it plain for me. I want to get us a good title. I hope I do. The Six of Wands. See, victory, success. 
someone's definitely building up their confidence. They're building up their self-worth. They're coming back better. They're doing internal work, right? Because they want victory and success. They are going to get it. Look, the Hierophant could definitely be dealing with the Taurus. This could be something dealing with the marriage or even work. Taurus could definitely be involved. This could also be like learning these spiritual lessons, right? Getting victory in it, like learning a huge spiritual lesson about self-worth, right? Six of Cups. Love is definitely involved in this. Soulmate energy is involved in this. Someone could definitely be learning some lessons that the, uh, about uh, some patterns from childhood here, right? You could be finally learning some lessons of self-worth that you that from childhood. You know, some things that like this could be like healing childhood wounds. Yeah, because whatever this is that someone's getting control over, it's been a long time coming. Some of you could have a soulmate that's been gone a long time. And it could be due to a marriage and children. Someone could be coming back. I just have to tell you that. There's, There's been, with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords, there's been a lot of mental strife and anguish. You could be dealing, like I said, with some deceitful mind games here, right? I also feel like for some of you, you could be like, you could have been like deceiving, to your, deceiving yourself and listening to, um, Listen to negative, listening to negative thoughts, and it could be because of past deceitful connections that you've been connected to, right? You could not have faith in a situation and think a situation is gonna fail, right? Because you yourself, right, have had these connections with deceitful people who used you, that mooched off of you, right? You've been connected to that, right? You could have definitely been doing this, right? But there could be definitely some energy coming in that's gonna bring you a lot of new hope, right? New beginnings. You, you you're able to manifest this, and confidence is gonna be. The key to your success here. You're going to have to, you're doing this, I feel like, or you know this, right? You have to do this work to build your self-work, to get this victory and success. You build your confidence up, you discipline yourself, and then you're going to have some success here, right? But for some of you, I feel like you've been attached to this kind of energy or someone's been attached to this kind of energy. Seven of swords, five of swords, just a lot of like mental anguish, sneak shit or deceitful shit. Yeah, and situations, like, I feel like it's been long-term situations with that energy, but that's wrapping up with the world. It's wrapping up, and I feel like that's what's happening here for someone or some of you. This could be happening to you, someone in your environment. Put it where it goes, baby sharks. But if the messages resonate, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. And if you're interested in booking me, please email me. I love you guys. Continue to take care of yourselves, and I bring you messages soon. Bye, Pisces.